students today let us see a problem from the topic inference theory which comes under the subject discrete mathematics so this is the question we are given four premises p conditional negation q q r r negation s conditional p uh, negation r these are the four statement formulas given four premises given and using these premises we have to conclude the the s yes is a valid conclusion from the premises this is the problem now uh, to start with the problem i am going to form, form four columns first column uh, involves its step second column for statement formula third column for rule and fourth column for justification now let me start the problem with a simple uh, statement formula this one is having a connective this one is having a connective and third statement formula is having a connective and this is the simple statement formula which the has only the negation connective now other than that there is no r connective under connective or conditional connective so let me start with this statement formula negation r so i am just taking the given statement given premise so taking the given premise is nothing but introducing a statement formula introducing a premise introduction can be done using rule p so once i use rule p i need not justify anything so i put dash now i am going to stay, take a formula that involves r so already i have taken a formula that involves r so other than this any other formula that involves r you look at that and here is the formula statement formula here is the premise that involves r so let me take that statement formula that premise and this is again i am taking the formula i am introducing the formula that can be done using rule p so i need not justify anything now i am going to combine these two premises these two statement formulas so look at the connective i am having disjunction r connective when i have disjunction or r connective i shall use disjunctive syllogism what is the disjunctive syllogism p r q with that if i have negation of the any statement formula i will have the other statement formula as the conclusion so q r r is the statement formula along with this i am having negation of r so i will have the other formula other statement formula q as the derivation q as the conclusion that is going to be written in the next step so this is the statement formula derived from these two steps so derivation can be done using rule t once i put rule t once i write rule t here i have to justify what are the steps i have used i have used statement formulas in step 1 and 2 and these statement formulas are applied in the implication disjunctive syllogism that i have to state here now since i ended up with q let me introduce another statement formula another premise that involves q already i have taken this q r r so avoid this and take another statement formula that involves q p conditional negation q now let us combine these two statement formulas so which law we shall use Where once i have conditional connective i shall use mod exponents or mod tollens if i have the left hand side as a separate formula i can use mod exponents negation of the right hand side if i have a separate formula i can use mod tollens right so here p condition negation q negation of this right hand side i am having negation of negation q is by double negation q so this is the negation of the right hand side so once i have negation of the right hand side i shall use mod tollens what is the conclusion is the negation of left hand side so the conclusion is negation of the left hand side that is negation p so this is formula derived by rule t and this formula is derived from the step statement formulas from steps 3 and 4 using mod tollens that uh, that is given as a justification now i am going to introduce i have ended up with p so let me introduce a formula a premise that involves p already i have taken this one so avoid this and you take the statement formula that involves p negation s conditional p so it's again a conditional statement so for conditional statement we shall use mod exponents or mod tollens if we have the left hand side formula 
statement formula separately use modus ponens. Negation of the right hand side use modus tollens. So here P is the right hand side. Negation of the right hand side I have separately. So I am going to use modus tollens. Once I use the modus tollens, I will get the negation of the left hand side. So what is the left hand side? Negation is the S is the left hand side. Negation of the left hand side I am going to derive from these these two steps step 5 and 6 when I apply it in modus tollens. This is the statement formula derived by using rule T. Now negation of negation S is S by double negation law from step 7. So this is the statement formula derived from step 7 so by rule T and this is so we got S as a valid conclusion from the given premises we can conclude. So let us meet with another problem in the next video. Thank you.